Hey guys, thanks for checking out Scare Talk. But before we get to all the horror goodness, I gotta let you know about Anchor. Anchor is the platform that we use to upload our podcasts. Um, Anchor distributes the podcast to Apple, Google, Spotify. It's free. It's super easy to do. You can record. You can edit straight on their website, anchor.fm. Or you can download the mobile app and do a lot of the same. Um, You can make money with no minimum listenership. Yeah, get out there, man. Start making a podcast. Welcome to Scare Talk, a horror movie podcast for horror fans. This podcast will cover horror movie reviews, ratings, and rankings. Now for your hosts, Danny and Joel. (laughs) Okay, this is Scare Talk. I'm Danny, and I'm here with the salacious Joel. Oh, man. Hey, guys, what's up? (laughs) (laughs) Running out of words. (laughs) Salacious. (laughs) Uh, Good vocab. Yeah, (laughs) thank you. (laughs) All right, so today we're going to talk about the 2003 film Identity. Identity. Yeah. So this one, uh, I think we're going to have to do spoilers on this one in order to really do it justice. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think we can we can get away with most spoilers up front and then at the end of it do spoilers. Yeah. Because I I wanted to stay away as much as possible because I feel like this is a movie that a lot of people really haven't seen. Yeah. And so I kind of wanted to steer clear of as many spoilers as possible, but it is it is hard yeah. to talk about this movie and not talk about spoilers. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> so we'll talk about just kind of our positives mm-hmm. and negatives mm-hmm. on the just surface stuff. Yeah. And then after that we can go into more of the Yeah. Deeper and then if stuff. you haven't watched it you can you can shut us off for now. Yeah. Go and watch it and then and then finish <laughs> yeah. listening to us. So Alright, cool. Who's in it? Alright, so this one stars John Cusack. He was in fourteen oh eight. The Thin Red Line, which is a war movie, actually. It's mm. one of my favorite war movies. And Con Air, along with a bunch of other stuff as yeah, well. But those are a just, lot. Yeah. <laughs> also, Ray Liotta. He um, he was in Smoke and Aces. <laughs> yeah. It's a good movie. Um, Field of Dreams. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Goodfellas. And the B movie. <laughs> yes, he was in B movie as well. <laughs> Radio is honey. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot that one on the list. <laughs> um also Amanda Peet. She yep. was in the whole nine yards, saving Silverman. Yeah. And Changing Lanes. Oh, okay. That's a good movie. Yeah. Cool. Um we got for the writer, we've got Michael Cooney. Who wrote Jack Frost, the horror movie, not the, <laughs> not the Michael Keaton Jack Frost, Jack Frost 2, oh. <laughs> did the sequel to that movie, because it did so well, <laughs> and a movie called Six Souls with Julianne Moore. Oh. Which I remember that, Holly. We never yeah, watched it, but yeah. I remember seeing the, the cover and everything for yeah. it. Yeah. And oh, okay. has a really good director for this movie. James Mangold uh, directed Copland. 310 to Yuma, who, I mean, Copland also with Ray Liotta. I didn't mention that one yeah, on there. Yeah. Um, Logan and Ford versus Ferrari, oh, which is, wow. I think he actually won an award for, okay. uh, for Best Director. And he's doing the upcoming Indiana Jones movie. So, oh, there's another <laughs> Indiana Jones? There's going to be another Jones? one, and he's going to be the director of oh, it. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> you need to lay these uh, Lucas films to rest. <laughs> yeah. Like, I am done and over well, this. Well, Disney just bought it, yeah. so they're not going to let that one go. Okay. Not for a long time. <laughs> that's so lame. Um, all right. So that's everybody, huh? That is everybody, yeah. Okay. All right. So this, one of my favorite movies of all time. Yep. Joel, let's just get into the basic... The basic plot, the basic premise. Yep. 
So this movie um, is about a group of ten strangers. Well, yeah. there's couples and a family as well, but ten yeah. people get stranded. Um, there was a thunderstorm going on. Yeah. Both sides were flooded, so they can't leave this area. And um, so they all, ten people end up at this one hotel, motel. Yeah. Um, with a motel manager. And one by one, they all start dying off. Yes. That is the basic. That's as basic <laughs> as I can get yes. for this premise of this yeah. movie. <laughs> well, and at the same time, there's some sort of hearing. Yeah, happening. there's a hearing yeah. for um, a convicted killer yeah. um, who's about to be sent to death row. Yeah. And he's about to be executed. Yeah, he's about, yeah, yeah. not sent, but he's about to be executed. He's 24 hours from execution. Yeah. And they have 24 hours to change the judge's mind yeah. on um, staying the execution for matters of um, the insanity plea, basically. Yeah. So they've got 24 hours or less to do that before he gets executed. Yep. So will they do it? <laughs> yeah. At the um. same time, simultaneously, <laughs> this other thing happens. <laughs> yeah. Which doesn't sound like it's connected at all. Right. I, uh... You know, it didn't really phase me when I first saw the movie. I wasn't like, "What is this?" Yeah, you know, it because it's in there so those those scenes are so short mm -hmm. that you're thinking it is connected because you're thinking maybe it's like an after or before. Yeah, you know, because obviously these people are disappearing. Yeah, so you think that this hearing is. One of those characters, mm -hmm. right? That Which is you don't causing... see in the... yeah, because you don't <laughs> see yeah. who this is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, anyways, positives. Um, positive is the acting for one. You have some really good actors in this movie delivering some some really good performances. Um, I I love the story. The story of this movie is is really. It's really good. I've seen it several times now um, and love it every single time. Yeah. It's one of those movies that does have a twist at the end, but it's still a movie that you can continuously watch over and over again. It's yeah. not ruined by the by the twist at the yeah. end. Um, like a lot of movies are. It's just like, okay, that's, you know, I, it's good, but I've seen, I know how yeah. it ends. So, you know, I can move on with my life. No, yeah. This is one that you can watch over and over again. I agree. Because um, it is just an entertaining and just fun movie. Um, the kill scenes are pretty good. There is one... one there Some of them are shown off screen, which is kind of lame. Like the first kill, um, one of the characters gets her... Gets the their head cut off. <laughs> yeah. And it's in the, it's in the, the dryer. <laughs> yeah. Which I thought was kind of cool. Um... Yeah, I love the story. I love the acting. Um, the directing of this movie is really good too. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just a, a all around good movie. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Um, I like the twist. Mm -hmm. It's kind of there's kind of two twists, I would say, because there's one when you kind of figure out what's really happening, and mm -hmm. then there's another one yeah. at the very, very Yeah, end. that's true. Yeah, there's about two. <clears throat> so, um, the twists are just awesome, and the way mm -hmm. it comes together. Yeah. Because it totally makes sense mm -hmm. once you know what's happening. Yeah. And just genius. <laughs> this is one of those movies that I get the chills when, I, when it gets to that point mm -hmm. of the movie. I'm like, oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's a uh, one kill with like, there's a, um, convict in the, in the group mm -hmm. and they're suspecting that he might be the one yeah, doing these killings and, um, the way he dies is pretty yeah. cool. Uh, so I like, yeah, that, I like that kill cool way. <laughs> um, the Again, whole shown off screen, but you yeah. still see it. Yeah. The, uh. Every time, and this is just a minor spoiler, but every time a person dies, mm -hmm. their key is on them. Or a, a key. A key. A key. Yeah. With numbers mm -hmm. that like count down after each person dies. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's that was a cool, cool touch. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh 
yeah, I can't say much more without spoiling things, so <laughs> just the acting. You're mm-hmm. right. Acting was really good. The writing. Yeah. I love John Cusack. I think he does a great job um, in horror movies. Yeah. He's only been in a couple, but he yeah. needs to be in more. <laughs> um, Ray Liotta, he's just in this one. He's, he's just basically screaming Ray Liotta. at everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's Ray Liotta in this movie. <laughs> He's just screaming at everybody. <laughs> oh, no, there's three twists, because his character is a twist. Oh, yeah, well. that's true. Yeah, yeah, there are three twists in this yeah. movie. Now that I, I think about it. Yeah. And they give you a little foreshadow to his to his twist mm-hmm. when he puts his shirt on. Yeah. His jacket. Yeah. You see the shirt that he's wearing underneath. Mm-hmm. So that was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, all the characters work really well together. Yeah. Their uh, chemistry together is really good. And, uh, yeah, so, in the setting, I love movies where it takes place in one setting, Mm -hmm. for the most part. And this movie, for the most part, takes place in one setting. So, um, the beginning... The lead up to everyone getting to the motel. That's what I was just going to say, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) The beginning, there's kind of like, okay, this character is how they got there. This Mm -hmm. character is how they got there. And they're connected, too. Right, right. And so right away, you're like, okay, this is going to be one of those tricky movies, you know? <laughs> and uh, so it gets you invested right away. Yeah. So I think that was cool. Um, okay, so any negatives? Um, I, hmm, I'm trying to think. I don't really have... I am trying to think, and I can't honestly think of anything negative to say. Yeah, it's... For me, the only negative I can think of is at one point, one of the characters says that this place is like a, on an Indian burial Indian burial ground. ground. That, yeah. That's kind of a cop out thing. Yeah. To... I thought that was kind of lame to put in, um, but it didn't turn out to. Yeah, it didn't. Way, it so. didn't matter, <laughs> but it was still like a. I don't know. Putting that idea into our into yeah. our brains. Yeah, I mean, it, it was done just to kind of swerve you. Yeah, but. I don't know. When I heard it while I was watching, I was like, oh my god. I hope that's not what this is. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of lame to throw in. But that's just nitpicking. Mm -hmm. Because that's not what ends up happening. That's like, yeah, that's like one line in the entire movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even like revisited at (laughs) all. No, it's not. (laughs) It's just said like. Literally, this character has a thought and (laughs) she says it. Yeah. (laughs) Because she like read somewhere or something that this was. That this motel was built on an Indian, Indian burial, burial ground. Yeah. I think is what she said. Yeah. So One part that I didn't really understand why this would happen was John Cusack, he's like a limo driver. Mm-hmm. And he's driving... An actress. He's Yeah, but no, after. He... He's trying to get to the hospital. Yeah. He's trying to get to the hospital because one of the other... One of the characters, characters got into it. An accident hurt. that he caught... Well, yeah, he... He hit her. So. Yeah. <laughs> he caused. So he's driving and, like, you know, picks up this other girl and whatever. But they know that it's flooded. Mm-hmm. And he drives all the way to where it's flooded, and then he gets his car stuck. And so it's like, why wouldn't you stop before <laughs> it's flooded? Like, it's he not like it just could... showed up yeah. out of nowhere. Like, you knew this was coming, or potentially coming. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't you just stop there? Okay, you're right. It's flooded. Yeah. Let's go back. He thought he could drive through it. <laughs> Maybe. He's like, it's not that flooded. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that it was, was like It was only weird. like a lake. That yeah. Was... <laughs> it's like, okay. Driving so now through. your car is just stranded, you know? Yeah. So I thought that was kind of weird. Yeah. Um... But it didn't matter. That's not important. <laughs> but just something I thought, like, why would you do that? It yeah. doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, well, I guess it does kind of matter, because that would be another car that they could use. Because there was only so, really the truck yeah. at the end of the movie mm-hmm. that they that anybody could use. That so. they ended up, yeah. So, anyways, that's a lot of information. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, that's really being nitpicky, though. I really like this movie. So. Mm-hmm. Um. All right, so before we go to grades, you want to just talk about the good stuff? Um, yeah, let's <laughs> let's talk about the spoilers. In okay. this movie. I think we're both giving this an A. Yeah, uh, I would. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm thinking like a ninety-five. Okay, 
I'm gonna give it an A too. So if you have not seen this movie, go see it right now. Yes. Turn us off <laughs> and go watch it. Um, mm-hmm. I had to rent it on Prime. I want to say, uh, because I don't own it. Do you mm-hmm. own it? I own it. Yeah. yeah. So you can find mm-hmm. it. I want to say it was two ninety nine to rent mm-hmm. on Prime. That's so, not bad. Yeah. It's not on any other streaming services. Yeah, it's really not. It really should be somewhere for people to yeah. enjoy. I feel like it was. I feel like it was on um, Netflix or something not it's, too long ago. It's one of those very underrated movies that yeah. I don't think a lot of people have seen before. Yeah. So. And I think it's... Is this a horror movie? I consider it. Uh, yeah. yeah. People, psychological. People, it's a psychological horror. Yeah. yeah. I think so, for too. Sure. But when I like look it up it's categorized as a thriller like i don't think i've seen it categorized as horror Mm -hmm. before i would consider it as i think so too i think it you know there's there's deaths there's like creepy atmosphere Mm -hmm. mystery and then the psychological aspect is scary and then it ends on a not very happy note no it doesn't (laughs) so I don't no. know what else you need yeah. for it to be a horror movie, but you know you got Ray Liotta and John Cusack and Amanda Peet mm-hmm. in it, so yeah, it can't be a horror movie. What? Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, only one of those three have done another <laughs> another horror movie. Yeah, and at that time he hadn't even done. Yeah, he hadn't done that one. Yeah, so yeah, it's too many serious <laughs> actors in this movie <laughs> for so. it to be a horror movie. Yeah, that's how, ridiculous. How dare you? <laughs> There's not cheesy acting in this movie. It can't be a horror movie. <laughs> So, um, do you want to try to explain what happens in this movie? <laughs> All right. So we are going into spoiler, um, spoiler, spoiler town, I guess. <laughs> spoiler town. Spoiler town. Next stop, spoiler town. <laughs> so what's the first thing I want to talk about here? Cause yeah, you, like you're saying, there was three twists yeah. that happened. I think what the actual... Um, so like there's a scene where John Cusack kind of snaps out mm-hmm. oh, yeah. where he is in the uh, motel area. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's the second twist that happens, I think. I no. mean, I think the first and second happen like simultaneously. Yeah. Together. That first one where he snaps into the, uh, hearing room mm-hmm. then leads to him discovering who the killer is. I thought Amanda Pete discovered who the killer was. Well, she, she does. Found the, she finds the shirt. Yeah, but so that's like, after. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. She finds his, um, in the car. Mm-hmm. There's the, uh, like, files. Yeah. That oh, yeah. he's a convict, mm-hmm. and so is that other guy. And we just went into that for spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about that one first. <laughs> So Ray Liotta um, pretends to be a cop who's transporting a convict um, to the prison, and turns out that they he is also a convict himself. Yeah. And I don't know why they had two convicted murderers in the same car. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, know if they think were they murderers, do one. But I don't well, know they murdered they that cop. Yeah. <laughs> like, like it was nothing. Yeah, so I'm they, assuming they, they were. <laughs> yeah. So they killed the cop who was driving the car. Yeah. Because that's a smart thing to do. Kill the driver. Um, yeah. And Ray Liotta took over his his uniform. Yeah. And um, pretended to be a... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> put him in the trunk and pretended that he was the cop yeah. that was um, taking the convict to the, to the prison. And um, that's the first spoiler... Um, that's the first twist in this movie or second I think yeah. I really think that they were going like I think Amanda Pete discovers the files at, around the same time that he was going back snapping back as um, so John Cusack's character wakes up and he is in the inter- not interrogation room I don't I don't want to say that yeah. <laughs> but where where the um, where the convicted murderer was being held for like for questioning for um to find out if he is fit to to be executed the next day yeah um he turns into to that guy yeah (laughs) and as one of the 
as one of the 10, 11 personalities. Yeah. So he has a split personality disorder. Yeah. And each one of the characters is, um, each one of the characters at the motel is one of the characters in his mind. Yeah. And he needs to, he's going one by one, killing off the characters in his mind so that they can, um, kill the killer. Yeah. The killer personality so that he can avoid execution. Yeah. And it's like a therapy that he's going through. Mm -hmm. The doctor is like putting him through this therapy. Yeah. Um, in order to do this. Yeah. And the way that they're kind of proving it, or they start to prove it, is by showing the judge his, like, journals. Yeah. Different writing for yeah. every one of his... Yeah, he has different knowledge. handwriting. Yeah. Depending on who he's writing as mm-hmm. in the journal. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Um, and... The cool thing with this guy, I thought he did a great job acting. Yeah, he did. The <laughs> um, mental patient, I yeah. guess. His <laughs> eyes were just, mm-hmm. like, bouncing back Going and, back forth, and, forth, back and yeah. forth, back and forth. The entire and, time. <laughs> yeah, that was like, whoa. Yeah. That was kind of crazy to see. Um, but, and then there's a foreshadow to uh, Ray Liotta's character not being a cop, you mm-hmm. find out. Because at one point, toward the beginning of the movie you know within the first 45 minutes probably Mm -hmm. um he's like they get to his room and he's i don't know he's like changing or something and he puts his jacket on but underneath the jacket you can see that there's a shirt with a hole and blood yeah and so you're like what is that you know (laughs) why does he have a bloody shirt with a hole in it you know (laughs) um and so that's just, you know, really quick, too. It doesn't, mm-hmm. like, really focus on it too much. Yeah, no, it doesn't. But, uh, but yeah, so I thought that was cool because then you find out that he, like, kicked in um, some sort of pin or something mm-hmm. into the driver's back. Yeah. And that's where the hole came from. So that was cool. Yeah. Really cool. It was. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so go ahead. Continue. So, so... He has to go back as the character, go back into um, the situation that he was in before Mm -hmm. to find the the murderer, find the killer, and um, stop him before he kills anyone else. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that was the second twist in this movie, or first twist, technically, um, which I I really liked. The the idea, the concept of this entire movie is just really cool. Really cool. <clears throat> which brings us to the third and final twist of this movie so he he does john cusack does end up shooting and killing ray Liotta, yeah um who also gets some shots off on him yeah and ends up killing him um so at this point there's only three characters left everyone else has died or quote yeah. unquote died um <laughs> And so they both basically kill each other. Yeah. And so it only leaves Amanda Peet, who it ends with her driving off into the sunset. Yeah. And at this point, <laughs> the, next, the next day, we or whatever. think, or well, Ray Liotta's character is a killer. Yeah. We so think we that, know he that is... but we think that he is the killer, mm-hmm. which That's a... yeah, which they're trying to get rid of. Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. So. Amanda Peet's character was talking about earlier, um, and also earlier in the movie we find out that there are connections between them all. Yeah. They all share the same birthday. Right. They all have the same, like, they all share states for their mm-hmm. last names, which was a little weird, but, because <laughs> the names didn't even, like, match. Like, yeah. the first, it, it just didn't, it felt, that part felt kind of forced. Yeah, yeah. The whole last names thing. Yeah. Um... But it was kind of cool with the la- with the with the birth dates and yeah. stuff. That was their connection. So you find it's probably out his birthday probably is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's not very creative with <laughs> with his characters. Um, so we find out earlier that she was actually headed to Florida um, to tend an orange grove. Yeah, and so moving there. Yeah, moving moving to Florida to tend an orange grove. And so that's where she ends up driving to. Um, we think everything is going perfectly fine. Um, at this point in the movie, the 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 convict who is go- having these um, 
this issue, this personality disorder, mm-hmm. is in the back of a of a of a cop car. Is it a? It was a van, I think. Yeah, it's he's being transferred to yeah. the mental facility because they they stayed the execution and, mm-hmm. and um, you know try now they're just trying to get him help. Yeah, you know, so he isn't being executed anymore, and he's going to this mental hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, he's in the back seat, and Amanda Peet's character is singing a song on the radio, and it cuts to him, and he's singing the same song on the mm-hmm. radio, which I kind of think was a little fun i i i would be curious to know like what like seeing his his seeing that person go yeah. through all of yeah. everything that was going on yeah like if he's saying the same stuff the characters are saying <laughs> like what's going on when people are getting killed off and, <laughs> like, yeah is he verbalizing all of this <laughs> well because at one point they do show him like having a conversation mm-hmm. um Oh, who is he acting as? Is he acting as Amanda Peet's character? I can't remember, but he's like... Yeah, I was talking uh, about the Orange Grove, I think. No, before it's, that. Oh. Before that, when he's still in that hearing room. Yeah. Uh, he's talking about something. I can't remember. Yeah. I don't but remember yeah, one. he's like in the hotel still yeah the motel area but he's at the hearing and he's talking Mm -hmm. like he's the characters yeah so yeah so it would be just be kind of funny and (laughs) i'm not i guess funny is the wrong word for this kind of thing but (laughs) just interesting to to like hear and see like all these different characters like getting killed off in his head and (laughs) Because he's repeating everything that they're saying. Yeah. So it's uh, that that part's become obvious at this point. Um, so she is gardening. Um, she's gone to Florida. She's attending her orange groves. Um, she's gardening. Gardening. She's got a little um, garden plow mm-hmm. and in the dirt. And she digs up a number one. Because every one of her victims at this point yeah. have got a number counting down from ten. Yeah. On them. And when she looks up, she sees... It's a key. It, the number one Yeah, the number key. one key. Yeah, yeah, number one key. Um, and she starts freaking out because she knows what that means. She's been around <laughs> all, of the, all the bodies at this point. And she looks up and sees the little boy mm-hmm. in the, um, that was um, part of the 11 people in this, ho- in this motel yeah. that you think got blown up. Because um, he goes with one of the characters to uh, to the car to escape, and the car blows up. Yeah, and then it show it it goes back and shows all of the deaths. Yeah, and how he's been involved in all of the deaths. This yeah. little eight year old boy, um, and how he just like walks away from the explosion. I don't know how yeah. he caused the explosion. It yeah. didn't say on there. It didn't yeah. show that. It just yeah, he just walks away. Showed him walking away with like a little evil smile on his face, a little grin. Yeah. Um, as the car blows up in the background, which knocked everyone else back. Yeah. But not him. He was the closest to it. <laughs> he's just but cool. he's not really a person. So. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he says something at the same time the um, the killer in the back of the van is saying the same thing. Yeah. Um. And the killer in the back of the car, at the same time, the little boy ends up killing Amanda Pete, kills the doctor, yeah, who was helping him the entire time, yeah, and the the driver as well, and that's how the movie ends, yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> and then there's like this little, like he has this little uh, um, poem, or, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't I remember saw exactly a man what it who wasn't, wasn't there. there. He wasn't know. there again today. <laughs> yeah. I wish I wish he'd go away. Yeah. I think there was a little bit Something more like to that. it than that. Yeah. But so you hear you you see him say that a couple of times throughout yeah. the movie. I think John Cusack right before he goes snaps into the um yeah. into where he was being held, um, says that, like whispers it to himself too. Yeah. So it's it's said like three times mm-hmm. and it's whispered by the little boy, which is really creepy mm-hmm. at the end very end of the movie and that's how it ends. Yeah. And it's like that it's Bravo. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> yes. The uh, the thing I just realized is there was two killers. So he had two killer personalities. Yeah, three if you count the other. Because he, because Ray Liotta and, oh, yeah, and, and Jake uh, Busey. Yeah. 
That's um, right. Yes. Yeah, um, John Cusack was like, what are we yeah. dealing with here? And he's like, triple homicide or something. Yeah. Or multiple homicide. He opened the door. So they're all, they're all killers. Three of his ten are killers. Um, yeah, I didn't... Uh, I wasn't counting the other convict. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there were three. Um, one of the cool parts is when John Cusack goes into the hearing room, his face is John Cusack in that room. And so yeah. he's talking to these people like, who are you? Yeah. How did I get here? And then they're like, do you recognize this man? Mm-hmm. And they show him a picture of him. Yeah. And he's like, no, I don't know who that is. And then they show him a mirror and he's like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> what did you do to my face? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully this is making sense. I don't know if this is making I sense. I know. I, yeah, I felt like I was kind of rambling there for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so this movie is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, it makes a lot more sense than we're probably yeah. saying. Yeah. But um, just watch it. If anything, it's a good mystery. Mm-hmm. Um, the premise without even the twist is pretty fun. Yeah. You know, even if there wasn't the twist, it'd still be a pretty fun movie. It's well acted, well directed, mm-hmm. um, and just a cool story. Yeah. So, can't go wrong. Um, so, what are you going to give this one? Um, I think we gave our grades earlier, but I was going to give this a 95. <laughs> <laughs> you said that. We both said we were going to do A's, but yeah, I didn't I didn't give my percentage. Oh, really? I, okay. <laughs> yeah. I gave my percentage earlier, but <laughs> you I'll you give did. it again <laughs> since it's a ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going ninety-two. Okay, I could have sworn you said that earlier too. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm saying ninety-two. Um, pretty pretty hard to beat this one. Yeah, it really um, is. The only other movie I've given higher is Halloween. I'm I think I gave sure. it the same score as Halloween. Okay. So this is the first one. Yeah. This one's more original. This one... Yeah. For sure. This more one original. Definitely... I don't know. I honestly would probably put this one on before Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Just depends. Mm-hmm. But, um, okay. So that was our episode on 2003's Identity. Yes. You can find us on Facebook. At Scare Talk Podcast, Twitter at Scare Talk Pod, and listen to us everywhere. And tell your friends, tell your family, and yes. tell your pets. <laughs> yes, even your pets can listen to us. <laughs> um, okay, well, this has been Scare Talk. Sleep tight. Don't let Malcolm bite. <laughs>